what we can contribute to the scientific perspective is that the universe itself is a gift of love from God. You see, science, science uh, does not take a moral position. Yeah. Science, by definition, is... Uh, or moral. It, it attempts to achieve a kind of neutrality when it comes to values, morality, and purpose, and so on. Well, that's where we can make our contribution. We can add the missing elements. We can add the missing components. Krishna consciousness is the missing dimension of science. Missing dimension of science. Uh, you mean that it will expand the understanding of science with respect to subtler aspects of the universe or, or give a more meaningful and love-filled vision of the universe? But what do you mean by the word dimension here? Yes, Krishna consciousness can provide the tools of inner purification that will allow the curious to derive a fuller understanding of the creation around them. Without Krishna consciousness, you will have a partial vision of the universe. There's only so far that we can perceive. We'll never be able to go so far out that we'll know what happens at the end of the universe. We can never get there. It would take too much time, and the information will never come back. Nor can we know what is outside the outer limits of the universe. That's also uh, uh, forbidden to our perceptions. We cannot go deeper down inside uh, subatomic particles than the, the quantum, the, than the uh, um, uh, the, 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 what's I'm it called? The, the, Planck, the Planck length. We can't get the Planck length is the smallest dimension that we can even imagine. We can't go smaller than that. Mm -hmm. Krishna says, Andan Tarastam Paramanu Chayan Tarastam. I am what's beneath the Planck length. <laughs> I am what is past the limits of your orbiting satellite's perspective. And even more, we are able to give the foundation beneath the why of the universe. Why is there something and not nothing? Science can't answer that question. We can provide an idea that a reasonable person can consider. That the universe is here as a playground for errant souls to act out their fantasies so that when finally they realize, I am alone, I'm frustrated, I am unhappy, I am not achieving the fulfillment that I look for, let me now inquire, what is the deeper mystery to life? We will be there for them. That contribution to science we can make. So Prabhu, this is, so it is beautiful. So what you are saying is, where science seems to conflict scripture, that can be adjusted and presented, and that's not really the issue where we should be focusing on, whether it's specifically in depicting the planetarium, or in the science uh, religion dialogue. Our contribution it. is to not so much challenge what science says, but to provide what science can't say, what science doesn't say. So yeah. like it, the moral dimension of the, the dimension of meaning and purpose of life. Now you've, you've put your finger on the essence of Srila Prabhupada's mission. <laughs>